Attention automotive appearance professionals, in this video you will learn to replace and repaint a plastic bumper cover using the Bumper Pro bumper repair system. Removing the bumper is as simple as finding all the clips, all the bolts, and all the screws. Look high, look low, be curious, search behind things. You'll find them all. This uh, bumper on this 2001 Corolla is uh, pretty tweaked on the corner and we're actually just going to replace it today instead of repairing it because we were able to pick up this aftermarket bumper from a local parts yard for just $54. Paint coat on this Corolla. A P4. Let's go to ms.formulaexpress.com and we'll enter in the user and password that you're provided when you buy Bumper Pro. OEM color code is where we will enter in the Toyota's paint code, which is 8, 8P4. And it's a color used on Daihatsu, Lexus, Scion, and we'll find the uh, Toyota Corolla. Click on that link. It'll ask you what uh, what paint line you want to mix it in, and you always want to choose Pro Base. Choose the uh, the standard chip. And make sure you click on Make Sprayable. Now, to cover this bumper, it's going to take 10 ounces of paint, but uh, we don't have a 10 ounce mixing cup. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to mix up 5 ounces twice. So, I'll set the quantity to 5 ounces. Oh, it says unit's too small, so what we can do is we can set this to 50 ounces and we'll just move the decimal point one point to the left. There we go, there's our formula. So it says we're going to need bottle PB213, PB5007, PB5006, 5207, 5001, 5208, 5002, 5026, 5028, and 2203. And it indicates the number of grams that we're going to add to a cup. And then there's a uh, non-cumulative formula here, which you'll pretty much just want to ignore. So I'll grab each of these bottles. And I'll start with 5213, I'll add 600, I'll add 61.1 grams, because we're, we're not mixing 50 ounces, we're mixing 5 ounces, so I'll add 61.1 grams. Then I'll add uh, bottle 5007 until I see 68.3, 5006, bottle 5006 until I see 73.7, all the way on down to the end, stir it up, drop it in a cup. So let's get PB5213. PB5007, I got it, PB5006, PB5207, PB5001, Five two oh eight five thousand two cup on scale scale on 
And we'll start with 5213. Formula says take it up to 61.1. Next up is 5007. Formula says take it to 68.3. Take it to 73.7. And we'll take this to 77.3. Tiny bit of an overpour, not a problem. Now we'll go with 5001. And 5,001, we will take up to 79.5. Eighty-two point six. Fifty twenty-eight, eighty-two point seven. And lastly will be two two oh three, which is reducer, and we'll take that up to one thirty three. Got our mixture, so scale off. Stir it up. That looks a whole lot like the car. Let's make sure that our gun is set to about 28 PSI, wide open. Oh, 
I'll spray just a little bit of paint thinner to check my fan. The fan looks great. Before I spray the base coat on the bumper, I like to uh, get out a tack rag and just make sure that we're lint free. And I'll also use the, uh, the air feature on the trigger. So I'll just give it about one eighth pull to get some air to move, uh, to move the dust around or at least blast the dust off of this, uh, this area that I'm painting. As I was painting this, I spotted a, a couple of flaws in this bumper, and I'm going to have to wet sand those out with, uh, with 600 grit and then get back to spraying my base coat. I got a good price from uh, Foster Auto on this bumper. That's the price. <laughs> yeah. We've been painting indoors where the light is, it's not perfect. So we've brought the, uh, the bumper out to the edge of the shop and we're gonna look at it in daylight. First, to make sure that we have total coverage. And second, it'll give us a chance to check the color match against the old bumper. And so far it's looking pretty good. One way to kind of preview the way that it's gonna look with clear coat is you just take a bottle of wax and grease remover and you just wet it down. It'll kind of give you a preview of what you're gonna see. And we're pretty close. To paint this whole bumper, we're gonna need 10 ounces of clear. And each one of these cups only holds seven ounces. So I'm gonna mix up five ounces twice. And we're looking for five parts clear, one part activator, one part reducer. We'll take it up to 80 with the clear coat. Add 16 grams of reducer. grams of activator and we got plenty of clear for the job
bumpers in place and it's looking pretty good but if we if we get up close we can see that I didn't put an adequate amount of uh, clear coat on here so I don't have that nice gloss to it it's this is what we would call uh, dry uh, not a problem though we just got to wet sand it out with uh, 2000 grit and then uh, polish it with our buffer um, when you wet sand you want to be careful to stay away from edges or any spots uh, where your buffer can't get. So this tends to be a problem area, um, getting the buffer pad into this spot. So I'm pretty much gonna avoid that. And I'm gonna avoid sanding through uh, the clear coat that we have on the edge there because it can be pretty thin. So the first thing I'll First thing I'll do is I'll mask off these edges and then I'll wet sand the face of this whole bumper uh, with 2000 grit sandpaper. finish wet sanding that face there and take any compound that's rated to remove 2000 grit scratches and at about 1200 rpm in a foam pad work them out And that's how we get that, that nice factory gloss. And here's our repair after wet sanding and buffing.